Hey everyone, it is Mama Willow Gaming here today, and we will be playing some Quetzalcoatl, but at the same time, I want to talk about a topic that has been on my mind a lot lately, and it needs to be talked about more. I already did do a video, however, on my TikTok about it, but I might as well also make a YouTube video about it because it has affected me a lot in the past. So, let's talk about it. So, while playing Quetz and just kind of like showing off the gameplay of it, um, as maybe some of y'all knew, um, I was in a relationship for almost a year before I left, and in that relationship, especially around the beginning of it, he would always tell me how the way that I'm doing things wasn't the correct way of doing things. For videos, for YouTube, for Twitch, TikTok, how I should do better, I'm not gonna get anywhere, completely also degrading me in the worst possible way as well. And not to mention it affected me a lot and he would say in also I think a month after I left him. We were talking about getting my stuff back. Um, he said that I was basically a nobody, that no one would know me and whatnot, which kind of affected me a lot because that was when I was getting boosted up in followers on my Twitch specifically. And I think I just want to also put out there is that he said that I would never get big at all. And this thought came to the back of my head because I am now nearing 100 subscribers and guys, fucking thank you so much. Really, really thank you. Um, he would basically say I'm a nobody and that I was not going to get anywhere. Now, about a week ago, I went from 26 followers all the way to almost 100. That is about a good 70 plus within the week. And from someone who had such a low following to begin with, it was... I was really beyond happy once I saw those numbers go up. Yeah, I don't care about numbers that much, but I also would like to build on with what I have already, specifically. I'd rather not stick to what I had, and I'd rather build on and create more content for y'all. This, I would say, the events had started right around about maybe, I think it was when I started. A month I was starting into my Twitch, like actively streaming and whatnot, um, I was playing a lot of Red Dead at the time because I had literally just gotten the game on PC and I was playing a lot on um, Red Dead Online, which I have never tried up until then. And I really enjoyed playing it, in all honesty. And him telling me that I wasn't like you know doing good and whatnot that I had to do certain things his way and I can't do things my way because I'll never get there and whatnot basically saying that my numbers will never go up any higher and that I'd probably be a nobody for the rest of my life um not to mention I was 19 at the time right now I am 20 he was a 31 year old guy and having that from an older person who was saying a lot about a lot of shit like that, it really was detrimental to my mental health specifically. And I just felt like I never had um, any peace 
really with what was going on. Sorry, the, the game froze. Um, I just really never had peace. I never really had someone like you're doing such a good job. Keep up with the content. I never had anyone like that until now. <laughs> A lot of people are wanting to see a lot more of my content and and whatnot. Like, I am a lot more happier than when, like, than I was then. Um, I am with someone new, and it took me a while to get back to where I am now. Um, my TikTok, I really don't use anymore, really. Specifically because that's where he had all his following on as well. Um, and so, like when I left, I think I was on looking at his account for maybe a month, like every day. And I saw that he was posting a lot of like uplifting advice and whatnot and shit like that. And nothing really about how um i'm probably gonna die here but nothing really about saying that he did that with his relationship he never did any of the things that he mentioned or was uplifting about it was always kind of trying to find a way to um really tried to put me down and whatnot and I felt when I keep seeing him posting that kind of content it really kind of puts a stab and a jab at my heart saying specifically that relationships you should work together there's always communication you always should communicate you should always also respect your partner no matter if it's marriage, if it's your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or working relationship, or you, ha your partner that you're working with, but not in like an intimacy kind of relationship. He would post a lot of that shit. And to be honest with me, to be honest with you, um, it just kind of put me in like in a bad mindset, headset that he was never like that when we were together and deal with the fact that i was 19 who also turned 20 and he was a 30 year old man who turned also 32 um it was and having that 12 year age gap like you should have someone who is mature by that by then or someone who is not going to put their partner down in that way but unfortunately I was I fell victim to that and not to mention I fell victim to a lot of his abuse as well which included verbal physical emotional mental like there was a lot of fucking abuse that happened Another reason why I wanted to make this video was because I was called by um, employment insurance because right now I still can't find a, find a job. So it is basically government assistance in a way um, because I really do need the money at the moment as I seriously cannot find a job. <laughs> um... One thing that really got to me was um fuck what was it um I was with him for almost a whole year and what got me when I was on the phone with EI yesterday which was the 16th of May um was that they were basically asking why didn't I call the authorities? Why didn't I just move um, houses, places? Why couldn't I have just transferred to another workplace? And I told them, I'm like, listen, I couldn't have just done that as easily as I wanted to because for one, I would still be in the city with my abuser, which is 
not safe at all. Calling the authorities, and I even told her outright, if it's first time that the woman is calling about abuse about their ex or partner at the time, the cops are not going to do anything about it. Um, and not to mention, a lot of the physical abuse would not be shown at all. He would stop himself, basically, up until it would kind of show a little bit physically. I'm not going to go too much into it because it can be a trigger for some people. But, um... It was to the point that I literally had to stop streaming and went to go and play with someone just for a tad bit, you know? Because, like, imagine hearing that and it's fucking, it's, it's terrible to the point that I don't even want myself to want to go through that again. And the person I am with now, they did help me a lot to get out of that relationship. Um... And I am forever thankful because I'm pretty sure if I stayed any longer, I would no longer be on this earth. Like, I probably know that as a fact because within the last month, it was a lot worse. And I knew I would not have been able to stay any longer, let's say. I think what I'm trying to say is if you are currently living with someone who abuses you like that, or someone who doesn't believe in you and whatnot, and they're like, you are never going to, um, you're going to be a nobody and whatnot. You're just going to be forever someone who is literally just in the household for them to look at. Or someone who says you're not going to go anywhere if you're doing things like that. Specifically, like, wrecking your relation, like, your mentality, your mental health and whatnot. I would say continue doing what you're doing. Don't stop because someone said so. And especially if you're in a relationship with your partner who's saying all this stuff. What I would say is find someone that you truly, truly trust. Ask them for help and literally get the fuck out. That is basically what I'm saying is get the fuck out of there because your life has meaning to it. And you shouldn't have to stay because you feel hopeless. You feel like they're the only one. Get the fuck out. Your life has meaning. You are a somebody. And you will get there with your Twitch or your YouTube or your TikTok. Whatever you're doing. Maybe even OnlyFans. Do whatever the fuck you want. Rise up to the challenge and don't let anyone tell you what to do or how bad you're doing it apparently you're you you're somebody do what you want you have control full control of your own life and this is taking it from someone who has been in that um experience specifically with someone who was in a 12 year age gap specifically you're your own person. Do whatever the fuck you want. Um, don't let anybody get you down. So this is me saying, and this is also clear proof. I had 50 followers when I left and it took me a roughly around two years to get there. Maybe four even. But if you look at me now within the four year, uh, four months, I've gained from 50 to 125. So you can do it. And not to mention, I had my YouTube for a long ass time as well. Um, 
So you're able to get there. My YouTube, I was, I had my YouTube for about six years, I believe. Like, it was a very long ass fucking time. I had it for six years. I only ever got the 26 up until recently. Because I started posting more. Up until recently, I only started getting, um, like, I've almost made it, like I said, to 100 subscribers on YouTube. Like, a huge mark of 26 to 91 subscribers now. That is a lot. Like, when I saw that number rise, I was really fucking happy. And I still am to this day. <laughs> Um, and I am more than happy to continue growing my subscriber base on YouTube and my follower base on Twitch as well. So, don't let anyone get you down. You can do it. It's your own life. You're able to do it. That will be it for today's video and short little video on the Quetzalcoatlus gameplay a little bit and how smooth it is and how well it flies. Um, if you want ha to have any more videos like this one specifically, please let me know in the comment section. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this or more showcases, please do give it, um, give me a subscribe. And yeah, but seriously, subscribe and come become a pack member today. Um, I do have all my links down below if you want to join. And the person that did my Dilo PNG, which I'm not using today, I completely forgot. But at the same time, I did not want to get into VC. Um, but yeah, go look at it. I have also a lot of other Path of Titans videos, so if you don't won't mind is give this a like, subscribe, boost this post so that even women in your situation can help each other out. But seriously, thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, I don't know when this will be posted. It will probably be posted a week from now. Um, but yes, thank you for watching today's video and... I hope you enjoy. Goodbye, pack members.